This is a production of Cornell University. Okay, so we're set up here to measure another important physical property of soil, and we're going to look at the infiltration rate. So we have our bucket of water, some measuring devices, our rulers, and a shovel. We're going to make a hole. So we're going to make a hole. We're going to wet the inside of the hole. And then we're going to, after the soil on the edges has become saturated, we're going to fill the hole and use the, the measuring sticks in order to take the rate of drain down and therefore measure the infiltration rate of the soil. And we're going to convert that into inches per hour. So it starts with the hole. And we're going to remove the organic material from above. We just have a little bit of turf. Okay, that's out of the way. Then we're gonna cut down. We're gonna go about nine to 12 inches wide and nine to 12 inches deep here. Okay, that's all cleaned up. So now we have our open test pit. Now you can imagine that this soil actually is very, very dry. And, and if we don't actually wet it so that we overwhelm the forces of adhesion, we'll actually get lateral movement of the water what we want is water uh, moving by gravity. So we'll first wet the hole, and so we'll actually reduce the amount of lateral flow of water by adhesion. We might actually fill it up fully, let it drain, and then do the test the second time. But for this purpose, we're gonna fill it up and then do a measurement. measure our starting point of where the water is and then we'll wait typically 10 or 15 minutes to see how much the water uh, percolates downward and we multiply by either uh, six or four to come up to inches per hour. Okay, we're at seven and a half inches at 9.02. Okay, well we've hit our 10 minute mark, just passed, and we'll take our second reading now. Okay, well, we've only drained down a quarter inch. So we want to convert that into inches per hour to standardize the value. So let's see here. A quarter inch in 10 minutes uh, times six is six quarters or an inch and a half per hour, uh, which is very poorly drained. We usually consider four inches per hour or less somewhat limiting, and we call that poorly drained in our field test. Likely what we're seeing here are some of the impacts from the foot traffic uh, in this pathway in the garden, creating uh, compacted soils where soil infiltration has been limited. This has been a production of Cornell University, on the web at cornell.edu.